Hi, my name is Tracy Lindsay and I'm the director of Tetelestai House. We minister to women coming out of jail or prison who want to change their life. In 2010, I found myself at the end of a 16-year drug addiction. Um, completely lost and broken and alone. I had burned every bridge um, to anyone who ever loved or cared for me. And I found myself looking at 30 years in the Arkansas Department of Corrections. At 33 years old, I went to prison for the second time. And while I was there, things began to happen in my life. Um, I was sent to prison with a with a small paperback Bible. And one day, out of sheer boredom, I picked that Bible up and I read the book of Esther. And God just revealed himself to me um, throughout that story. And I began to read more and more of the Bible. And in September, say on September 14th, 2010, I surrendered my life to the Lord. I was sitting in a program called the PAL program and its principles and applications for life. It is in every prison inside the state of Arkansas where chaplains throughout the state and inmates are trained up in the Word of God and they invest in lives like mine. Um, they set me down and they told me who Jesus is, what he had done for me, and who I could become in him. And ultimately those three things changed my life, changed everything about me. I was released from prison um, later that year in, in 2010 and joined the fellowship um, at a local New Testament church and the Lord began to grow me. Um, I had the opportunity to do jail ministry in 2012 and for the first time I walked into a jail with the opportunity to leave um, whenever I was ready and I walked in and got to share a message of hope um, with the ladies there and just let them know that that this jail time doesn't have to define who they are, um, that this too shall pass and that there's more after that. In November of 2013, Tetelestai House was incorporated. We continued to see the same faces in the county jails. Um, Arkansas's recidivism rate is incredibly high, um, one of the leading in the nation. Um, but upon completion of a faith-based program, that recidivism rate drops dramatically. So we see it as prison is not full of people with a drug problem. Prisons are packed with people with a heart problem. It's an issue of the heart. Um, Jesus Christ is the answer, and the byproduct is a better life. So we took our first resident in in April of 2014, and we recently took in our 24th resident. Our mission at Tetelestai House is to share the love of Jesus Christ with every single woman that walks through that door. We minister into their life, the lives of their children, the lives of their families, their friends. We have been in business for four years. Um, we have watched many women come and go. Um, we do jail ministry once a month at the Boone County Jail, and, and on average we have 15 to, to 20 women every month. The main thing we do here is share the gospel of Jesus. Um, we are seed sowers. We, we are not out for the harvest, um, but we are out to sow the seeds, and, and that's what we do here. And we want to thank you for investing in our lives, um, but thank you for, for all your work and support, um, all those who come up alongside us and invest in the lives of these women. You're making a difference, so we want to thank you.